Terro is Terro, now it won't stop. Terro, Terro, Terro is Terro, now it won't stop. Terro, Terro, Terro is Terro, now it won't stop. Morning, noon, and night, sun and moon and rise, we get it done. Terro, Terro, Terro is Terro, now it won't stop. Grand rising to my king queen gods and goddesses it's your boy terrible with one star and you know i gotta hit them aries up so this is for aries sun moon rising north node and venus look disclaimer this is a general reading so i only take what resonate and you know if it don't resonate with you kick that to the side you know how we do it now past present future clarification past present future we're gonna rock on with it so how y'all been doing today i hope all y'all been doing good i feel like right now some of y'all might be going through some type of transformation you might be starting to see things again you know the uh the planets are standing still for a little minute so with that being said i just want to say keep pushing on keep running keep doing what you're doing aries make them believe in who you are right now i believe some of y'all got that good karma coming through i believe uh some of y'all in a relationship right now looking for a relationship this is the one that you might be looking for so it's time for you to shine your light with that basically being said you already know how we do it so let's go to get started with it so I hope everybody doing good. And some of y'all depressed, uh, please hang in there. Also, if you in any type of depression, any type of nature, go seek professional help. This is entertainment purposes only. Now, if you find any information helpful, hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Spirit, what do we have for every Sun, Room, Rising, North Node, and Venus? We just want to thank you right now, God, Spirit, Universe, Angel, guys, for sending this blueprint for us so we can get the understanding of what's going on through March 2022 and give us the algorithm so we can keep our chakras aligned. I say, now, Spirit, what do we have for Leos? No, you might be dealing with a Leo, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, North, North, and Venus. What do we have for Aries? So some of y'all might be uh, uh, having them in your placement. Spirit, what do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, North, and Venus. I feel like some of y'all might be going. Some of y'all might be going through some legalities. It may be some contracts or something. So watch the fine print. I feel like some of y'all may have already been through this. I'm sure. So let's see. Your uh, past energy that we have so far, we got the Justice card, which is Gemini. We also got the Fool card. It's clarified by the Fool card, the Death and the Temperance. So I feel like sometimes, uh, and some of y'all in your past, some of y'all may be going through a situation with some type of legality. Uh, you see how the justice card is just sitting right there. So it may be somebody may have been manipulating you or it might have been some type of uh, off balance you may feel or it might have been some type of lack of faith. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because it might have been a new cycle for you and it was a, a rebirth, but you not flowing the way you need to flow. So with that basically being said, let's talk about the clarification a little bit. You got uh, justice in reverse again. You may be uh, some form of manipulation or uh, something may be off balance, some, uh, might some type of injustice. So with that being said, you got the full card. So the full card basically talk about um, new beginners and being more optimistic or carefree. I feel like somebody was showing justice, either you or the other party in a carefree way. And it had to create this depth or it had to create this new cycle or it had to create this transformation for you so you can start getting out of your uh it was getting you out of your inner flow so when i basically say that because when you see the temperance in reverse uh or you will start to be more precise and you will start to heal on yourself so i feel like whatever legality Whatever situation that happened to you in your past situation, it was creating you to be more carefree, but you've seen the task at hand, and it also led you to start seeing things more clearly. So, Spirit, what do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, North, and Venus? Spirit, what else do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, North, and Venus? Yep, exactly. Like I thought. You got the Knight of Swords in reverse. You got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. You also got the Five of Swords and a Devil card. So I feel like right now in the situation, uh, something is coming in or something you may be cutting away from because you got the Knight of Swords in reverse. When you see the Knight of Swords basically in reverse, you know Swords is more about the logic side, the action and spirit, or the mindset. So I feel like with the Knight, you are... Uh, you feeling like some people can't be trusted or you feeling like you may not be having no courage because with the five of pentacles is always dealing with uh, pity but with the five of pentacles basically being in reverse you making uh you allowing things to change and you uh allowing things to change probably through the competition 
uh, you got the five of swords, so you cutting through. So uh, it might be some conflicts. I feel like it may be conflicts at home. I feel like it may be conflicts everywhere you going right now because whatever this is, it's toxic. Cause you got the devil card, so it's uh, you may be holding on back to what you really need to say. Let's clarify that spirit. Can we clarify the devil card? Yeah, because. Something is no longer suiting you. Something's in a stagnated situation and it's creating your uh, emotions to go in a stuck bubble. And yeah, and it, uh, it's trying to end and it's affecting your flow with your money. Because um, normally with the King of Pentacles, normally when you see the Pentacles, you know, uh, Pentacles represent the wealth, uh, materials. So I feel like you got the ambition within yourself to be more stable, but you had to keep pushing, but you got to get through this energy that you're going through and they'll no longer have you in a stagnated situation. See what I'm saying? Uh, you uh, be ready to put things to rest. Uh, some of y'all might not be eating well. Uh, you be ready to surrender to the situation. So, Spirit, can we see what we got for Aries right now? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. What else do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? Can I get two more, please, Spirit? One more, please. Sun, Moon, Rising. Go ahead. I'll show you. I feel like some of y'all been going through a lot of depression for some reason. I had to go to my other. I feel like some of y'all been depressed. I feel some uh, some of y'all need to let the situation go. I feel some of y'all been more compassionate about yourself. Some of y'all might be need to go to the doctor and get yourself checked out. I feel like some of y'all might been going through self love and yet some of y'all still holding on something from uh, back in the past. Cause they have uh, remember the time by Michael Jackson. So with that, be, do you remember the time? Anyway, so y'all check out that song. So, you know, now for your future energy, you got the star card in reverse, the ten of wands in reverse, the five of wands and the king of wands. So spirit want me to tell you some type of action that you are going towards to in this future, uh, in, in the future of the present energy is coming in to be more action for you because you got the star card in reverse. So you are able to let go of things, but it's problems and it's creative blocks within you. And you feel like it's no more too much responsibility for you because you got the ten of wands so everything might be feeling like not too intense but it, it might be lighting up things are starting to be okay back again with this battle so you need to look up 555 five, five. some of y'all need to look up 555 five, five. it represents change because you got uh three fives in your whole uh and all of this so i feel like with this being said the everyday activities that you taking you finally start to let go you finally start to see what it is now you're starting to fight through the chaos because you got the five of wands upright. So it's some type of struggle that you're going to fight through. In order to fight through the situation, you got to get yourself together and get yourself together. When I say get yourself together, get yourself together. Because you're going to have that vision. And you're going to start taking initiative in the things that you got to do. And it's going to lead you to that abundant success where you're going to be well more grounded in your situation, Aries. You feel me? But you almost there to whatever you need because the action, you almost getting to the point where you need to be for this new cycle. But first, you got to realize, because this is all action. This is all action that's taking place for your future. So your attitude can block your success. So don't be in your head. That's why it was so important about depression. Because you got the emperors in the verse also. So don't let that control the energy and don't be that lack of growth. So make sure in your future you stay focused and just calm down. Don't get messed up and just turned out of a situation because it might spiral out of control. You need to think before you react, okay? Aries, that's the uh, title of your thing. Think before you act, react. So with that also being said, Aries, what I'm basically about to do also, I'm about to end up hitting y'all one time with the... Um, with the ancestral day, because I'm going to give y'all some little answers and see what your guys or your ancestors maybe want to tell you while you're going through this um, this situation. You see what I'm saying? Spirit, what do we have for Aries? I'm going to rise and go to Northern Venus. Thank you. All right. What we got right now, and I'm going to break it down. I'm going to pull one more because I'm going to do a past, present, and future for y'all. So... I got to pull out the book for this one. Where's my book? All right. Now, this one right here is the Shaman Tarot deck. And the only reason why I'm pulling this out because this is what your answers got to say. And I don't want to use the intuition on this one because Spirit telling me to just tell y'all exactly what, what these cards are. So, I feel like in your past energy... You have the bones. The bones in the Shaman Tarot deck represent the combat that uh, your ancestors are doing for you. And you got the seven of bones, which is the seven of, seven of uh, wands. But I'm going to read it to you. And I'm going to show you what it looked like. Now, the seven of bones is called spiritual struggle. 
questioning of the one's nature of own fears, psychological projections onto others, difficulties that be more imaginary than real. So I feel like in your past situation, you was going through that type of struggle. You feel me, Aries? But now you get to the point where you at the night of bones in which you still moving forth in action. Your spirit guides are still working with you in action today. So the knife, it's called the shaman, uh, no, the ally of the clouds. So, I'm trying to make sure this one's right. Y'all got to forgive me. Yeah, I love the clouds. That means your unconscious conflicts that has been not clarified. Quarrels, songs, and controversies, and improbable alliances. So, Spirit want me to tell you right now what you're going through in this present state. You may be going through some adversity. And there may be some people that you may be going getting into it with also. So, with that being said, make sure you stay firm and stay grounded because... You got number two. Number two is really represent uh, an arcana. It's the, it's the high priestess. So I feel like spirit wants you to tell you to be more balanced. But I'm going to break it down too because this is called uh, Mother of the Worlds. So I'm going to flip it this way because they really don't do it. But I'm, I had to flip it to tell you the tarot meaning when it flipped upside down. Now, intermediary between the upper and the lower world. The keeper of all knowledge. Strength of initiation and consciousness. Be more balanced with yourself, Aries. You feel what I'm saying? For your future energy. Be more balanced with everything that may be going on. Make sure you uh, give self-love. Stay with self-love. Stay with self-love. Keep yourself together. Look at both sides of the story whenever you go through a situation. Look, uh, when I say both sides of the story, look on how you can learn from the situation and ways to not to go through that again. That's called kind of like shadow work. If you want to know anything about shadow work, it's finding the deep part of it, what triggers you, and do uh, the... Who, what, when, where, why, and how. With that being said, I just want to say thank you so, so much for sitting up there being with me today. And anything, any information, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, share button. And to the next time, I'll see you again to all my Aries. I want to say peace, love, light. Light, love, peace. And I'll see you to the next time, baby. Yeah. Terror, terror, terror is terror now with one star. Terror, terror, terror is terror now with one star. Terror, terror, terror is terror.